Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Last night was the big game, the sports bowl, the you can't say Super Bowl in case you get cop ah! Congratulations to the ladies Kansas City Massachusetts Wallabies for winning against the Philadelphia Cheesesteaks. More importantly, there were some trailers to be seen, and one of them was the latest trailer for The Flash, which is a very, 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 very loose adaptation of Flashpoint. So let's get into the actual trailer itself. We start off uh, with a boot. Uh, Barry's boot. Uh, this will be Barry Allen's uh, home where his mum is. And it follows the same premise in as much as, by the sounds of it, going by what the trailer said, the fact that he's gone back to a universe where his mother is still alive. Uh, his mother is allegedly murdered by his father in all the other universes, but he didn't commit the murder. It was uh, the reverse flash, but you know. Uh, so, so we start off with that, and he's looking at the house, and he's wondering if he could possibly take anyone hostage. Uh, moving on, very quickly indeed. New outfit, of course, for this movie. Different outfit. He's got the yellow gloves. He's got the yellow boots. This is very kind of um, New 52 Flash costume. It's the best one they've done yet, I think, but... Uh, you know, we'll see. We then get a look out uh, what I imagine is the top of Wayne Manor. And this is looking out over Gotham City. Because uh, the best thing about this trailer is Batman. <laughs> or one, one of the Batman. <laughs> I'll get into that in a little bit. So uh, we see the door of his uh, paternal home open. Then we get uh, Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne talking to uh, Barry Allen saying, why this universe? And this is where Barry confirms that because this is the one where his mum's alive. And uh, so that's why he wants to save this universe. This, uh, judging by that symbol, we've seen this imagery before, but this looks like uh, Keaton's Batman costume. Because Keaton's Batman costume was the one that had the yellow symbol. Bring back the yellow symbol on Batman, for goodness sake. Uh, and then we have a, a morose flash. We see some snippets of him uh, running around which town? Not too sure. Which city? What? Not too sure. This, I think, is Supergirl taking off. We'll get on to Supergirl in a bit. So, uh, yeah, Mopey Mopey. Here's me mum. Here's me as a kid. Here's memories. Here's reverse flash breaking in. Probably going to kill his mum. Frame his dad. Coming, coming, coming six years late. The flash. Uh, so, yeah, he's running across various places. And then, oh, dear. Oh, dear. oh no. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe they're making a point that the kid can't run. I don't know. And then uh, this is, yeah, this is kind of back to the beginning. Barry looking at the house. So obviously, I think that's uh, him running out after the murder of his mother has just happened. We see a hand. I think this is Bruce's hand. I'm not quite sure what the green paint is. Uh, is this sort of, is he beating the Joker to death? I don't know. But the Joker died in Batman 89. I don't know. But I think this is a picture of, uh, Thomas and Martha Wayne with Bruce. So I think this is trying to say that Bruce is empathetic because of what had happened to, to his parents. And Barry's looking at photographs. He's like, oh, look at these two hostages that are Look at my parents. Don't they look uh, uh, amazing? And uh, wouldn't they look great in uh, my cult? Uh, we then see Barry put his hand on his mum's shoulder, scaring her a little bit. 
sounds par for the course for uh, Ezra Miller. And then we see Ezra Miller meeting Ezra Miller. Uh, and Ezra Miller from this world is just like, whoa, dude, you've got my face. And he says, yo, dude, you don't have my police charges. Don't worry, I'll get away with it. I'm privileged, I'm special. I know where all the bodies are buried. And I've also got grazed knees. Uh, so Barry's like, ah, freaking out. Okay, cool, whatever. So then they go to uh, Wayne Manor. This has got to be Wayne Manor on this one. Because uh, they're going to enlist the help of Batman, but instead of Thomas Wayne, which is in Flashpoint, it's Bruce that's killed in the alleyway in the universe that he goes back to. Uh, it's Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne. However, another variation from the, from the story is instead of Aquaman and Wonder Woman going to war, which they do in Flashpoint, the Flash has created a universe or has gone around into a universe where there are no metahumans. All the metahumans are gone. And so uh, in a minute, we're going to see General Zod arrive. Yes, Michael Shannon's General Zod. And uh, he's going to be like, oopsie doopsie. Now there's no metahumans to save the world because I got rid of them all or they're not here. We see uh, what looks like Ezra Miller recreating the the event the lightning strike which got him his powers and it goes through him and it goes into second ezra miller so there's going to be two flashes we see the flash ring opening up to reveal another flash symbol there you go so the flash ring opens for the for the, for the flash ring that will be his costume his costume will come out of that that's what i'm reckoning that's what it did before then we get him talking to, yes, Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne. And this is, this is clearly from the beginning of the film or, you know, first 15 minutes or so probably uh, as Barry is probably going over his plan with Bruce and Bruce is just like, look, you could destroy everything trying to fix it. And uh, yes, that is what's going to happen. We then see the Zod from Man of Steel. But again, in a sequence of events which is going to take away from Flashpoint. By the way, if you haven't read the Flashpoint comics, you should. They're freaking great. Uh, it's not Superman which has been locked away. It's Supergirl. There's no Superman here. Remember, this was made when they're wanting to push Supergirl and Batgirl. <laughs> as the top tier of DC. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's going down. We do then see uh, Michael Shannon as Zod, which is great. I liked Michael Shannon as Zod. I think Michael Shannon is a very peculiar, in a good way, actor. And uh, I think he just really, really sold, suited the, uh, the role of uh, General Zod. One thing Snyder never messed up was casting. His casting was great. For the most part, his casting was great. It's just such a shame they couldn't get the story to go alongside it, huh? So Zod's uh, attacking Earth. Uh, this is uh, looks like uh, Supergirl's outfit. You can see the S there. It's trash. One big concern about the new DC going forward is uh, the fact that, uh, what's his name? Uh, James Gunn is relying on Tom King, who's trash. He had a couple of good stuff, a couple of good starts to the Batman run, then just trash, absolute trash. And uh, this Supergirl, this is her locked away, so she can't absorb any of the energy of the sun. This Supergirl, which is taking Superman's story, Super, Superman would be perfect when it fits a woman. Uh, Tom, this is Tom Taylor's Supergirl. And Tom Taylor is trash as well. He's a trash human being anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is great. So reliant on trash is a good thing. 
So she's locked away, fr away from the sun. She can't charge up. She's been there since she's a kid. So she's got nothing built up. No, no power built up. So she'll get outside and then the sun will start to do its stuff. Batman says, hey, do you want a hand? And we get to see the Batcave, the Batmobile. Great Batmobile, by the way. I love this Batmobile. This Batmobile, I think, is the best. Alongside the animated series one. Those are the two greatest Batmobiles. What about the 66 Batmobile? That's great. All the Batmobiles are great. For the most part. Uh, so we start to see some brews now. So yes, we get the music. We get the Batwing here. My jazzing Batwing is shipping very soon. Holy, where the hell's that going to go? Uh, the bothy Ezra's, uh, the first Ezra's just like, hey, wait a minute, you, 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 you. And then we get a first look at the costume. Now, this costume, they've really got to quite hide. And I'll tell you why. I'm not trying to be unkind, but I'll tell you why. This is made out of really flexible plastic, like foamy plastic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, by the looks of it, we've seen images from when they were filming. So you don't really want a crumpled up bat suit so they've got to kind of hide this part uh pretty well but yeah he he looks at the camera he looks boss i mean come on that's michael keaton he looks boss and he says yeah i'm batman oh, okay I'll, I'll let you have that i did get a little bit of a girl gasm because of that but michael keaton i mean come on look why isn't there a batman beyond movie with michael keaton as bruce wayne for sake apparently one was in the works allegedly and james gunn kiboshed it Ah. uh so uh then we get to see uh bruce do some or batman do some great great little things the batman uh, the uh, bat cycle which looks really good actually i've seen uh, imagery of this again it's pretty art deco-ish and um really fits in well with uh, keaton's batman the uh we see like a an earthquake happening there's the flash down at the bottom there just uh, kind of watching enjoying it enjoying the show i guess and i imagine this is soon after this could that could be part of maybe um zod's machine not too sure we'll see we'll see and then batman comes jumping down into where maybe to help rescue supergirl not sure but yeah i mean michael keaton's the man he's the man man he's the man ezra miller being touched by one of his cultists the flash touching feet uh pacific rim poster interesting just saying interesting uh barry's screaming that they need to uh they need to do a thing this is them fighting this is the forces fighting zod Supergirl. Oh, dear God. This outfit is trash. It's trash. It looked it in, in the in the po in the pre-production pictures or the, the filming pictures we saw. It looked bad. But you were kind of thinking, right, they're gonna sort things out in post. They're gonna try and sort things out there. But no, it looks trash in this. Uh flashes. Now there are multiple bat suits in this, by the way. When I say multiple bat suits, there's a there's a there's a scene where you see Michael Keaton's bat suits, and there's uh, there's some interesting ones. I might do uh, I might do a thing about that later. Ezra Miller's like, "What do we do? This is clearly the Gulag where Supergirl's probably been kept." And Batman's just like, "Try not to die." And then he moves his fist and look up in the sky. It's a uh, super Karen. And then we get a fucking embarrassing CGI bit where she's throwing soldiers around and killing the soldiers. And it looks terrible. Look at that. Though. Look at Michael Keaton's Batman though. That's great. That's all I'm going to focus on. Just focusing on that. Just looking great. While she goes uh, and just kills everyone. That's great. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty laughable. Hey, oh, we're Barry. Okay, great. Uh, the Flash. And then uh, the Flash are in the Batwing. 
and Supergirl's flying next to him and he's taking a selfie. Well, he's taking a photo of her. And he's like, Barry, what are you doing? And he's like, our children are going to want to see this. And I just thought to myself, Ezra Miller plus Ezra Miller wanting kids. I can see that happening. I mean, with each other. Uh, so there we go. Um, overall, I mean, look at that. Uh, again, the, 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 the reds don't marry. That red is darker than that red. It doesn't marry together uh, at all. The gone with the muted yellow again. The no boots, just the blue. I I, th I hate this outfit. Tom Taylor's super good. Fuck that shite. So the I think the uh, the Flash stuff is eh. The Supergirl is, and the Batman stuff is thumbs up. Uh, so this this uh, movie could be anything. It, I think it's probably going to do some bank. Not masses. I don't think it's going to do over a billion. But I think it's going to do, I don't know, seven, eight hundred million. And I bet, and, and really, I think the majority of that is to see Michael Keaton as Batman again. But uh, yes, nothing to really, you know, write home about. We'll see. Coming June-ish. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Why am I doing my old outro? I don't know. It's a Pavlovian response for some reason. Mm. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.